feel something building up inside me. I must prepare, I must get ready. Serving you, Yahweh, keeps me strong and steady for you. Lord, I'll go for green living. Hey guys, it is a beautiful day today. I think the high is going to be 59, 60 degrees. So, if y'all remember before in my other videos, this used to be a tabletop right here. I had a big round piece of glass. I took it out because it wasn't very uh, efficient. Uh, cold air just seeped right through it. So, I'm going to work on rocking this up today. And I thought y'all might enjoy watching me do some. I have plenty of rocks that I've had uh, gathered up from the ditches around here. Now this is my mortar mix. I take uh, one of those half buckets, which I think it's about three gallons, and I fill it full of sand, and I fill up the seven and a half gallon bucket all the way to the top with with cob. That's kind of what it looks like in the mixing bucket. I mix it up, add uh, roughly about half of that in water, but the, the other half is wash my hands. <laughs> and we have plenty more rocks down there. That's going to be used. Turn slow. All right. Let me start mixing it up and we'll get started. Give it a little pre-mix. See right there. Mostly looks like sand. It's hard to do one hand, so sorry. Let's give it a little pre-mix. Mix it up good before you add the water. Make your life so much easier. All right. I got that mixed up pretty well. It's got kind of a nice sticky peanut buttery consistency let me show you a little bit up here I'm trying to go play. now the first thing we want to do is evaluate our surfaces you see all those surfaces I put nails in them to, to help hold up the rocks We've got a nice flat surface except for this little dip right here so I'm gonna Fill that in some. Right, you see how I put the rock directly under the nails. I just put a nice little layer of cob or cob mortar right underneath there. Now mortar that up. Oop, spider I killed accidentally. I'm glad I didn't see it when I was killing. But you see how I'm staggering the rocks now and I'm moving right along, trying to keep them level all the way across there, tying them all together. All right. I looked around just very quickly I found a rock that had a little bit of dip down at the bottom. Look at that. I always like to keep a nice level working area. I mean it doesn't have to be perfect but let's keep it just like that and that'll level up with that rock over there. I put a little slinty one there and we'll see where we're going to show you a little trick uh, I've learned uh, that really makes it look good. Uh, when you got a little area like this right here, so I guess it's about four inches, and you found a perfect fit to stagger your other rocks to lock them together, you could take a rock, you know, that was way too wide for that, turn it a little bit, and squeeze it right into place. Just like that. And then we we'll clean it up. Give the... Order a little strength. Just a short time, you'll be building a wall or a chimney. Now, as you go up, just human nature for us to have a tendency to start using smaller rocks. You have to fight that. If you do that, you'll end up with a little tiny pyramid at the top. So keep using the same size rocks all the way up and 
I'll even slide some big ones in there up to the top if, if you can't see that. I hope you can. All right, let's keep working. All right, guys, it's just about sunset. And uh, I ended up doing two batches of cob. Still got about a half a batch left. And I was working on the aquaponics and then company came by and you gotta stop working and show everybody around and didn't get as much as I wanted to done but there's a few rules I want to go with about rock stacking. Now you don't want to go too high and you definitely don't want your mix to be too thin because then hang on a second before we go because this will come down on you. <laughs> And it's happened to me a couple of times. Four wheelers just come around right when you're trying to take a video always, so that's okay. But uh, like I was saying before, this, this wall will come down on you and it has come down on me before. That's why I came down on me and pushed me right out of the way. <laughs> but I was doing too high. That's about the maximum you want to go a day. That's about 16 inches. And I could have gone higher there, but I'm tying it all together to, to make it one wall and fill up just one hole that was there. Of course, you all know that. But I wanted to show you a little trick about uh, finding rocks for places. And, you know, because I didn't say it before. Uh, Let's look right there. You see that little hole right there? It's got a dip. If you look for a rock that's gonna kinda level from there to there with a little dip in it, then you found the perfect rock. <laughs> you can just actually look around a little bit and find those rocks. So, if you look at this one right here, it's flat across there and it has a little bitty dip in it. Sorry, pull with it. And it'll fit right in there. See, it'll go right in there. I need some more cob in there, but it'll work. And tomorrow I'll put it in there after this is cured a little bit. All right, I hope I was able to teach y'all a little bit of something, but I know this this is definitely strong once it cures. My nephew did this little area right here. That's why it's really cobby right here. <laughs> There's actually rocks under there, but I'm afraid to chip it out. But I tried to take it off. You know, I was like, well, I don't need that because I want to redo it, you know, just to, to make it nice and pretty. And I couldn't remove it with my hand. and. I got a hammer to, to to chisel out where we started at today. So right there. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I appreciate everybody that's subscribed to me. And I'm going to try to improve the quality of my videos and show you how to build your cop house. Live in the way you meant for me to live is what I strive to do every day as I live off the land lead me at your pace for you Lord I'll go for green living help me to feed all the hungry Use me, Lord, to ease their misery from all this worldly pain and captivity. For you, Lord, I'll go for green living. I feel something building up inside me. <laughs> I must prepare. I must get ready. So